STS, serve the song. STA, serve the audience. That, 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 good to go. Hey everybody, I'll be right with you. Just checking my dry erase board. Howdy, my name is Mike Michael. This is my rock and roll diet. My rock and roll diet. What I eat, live, breathe for my music. So this is a mini series labeled Guitar Soloing Psychology. This is part two. And on my trusty, old school, but helpful, dry erase board, I have the abbreviations STS, serve the song, S-T-A, serve the audience, serve the song, serve the audience, it's not about you, these guitar solos you create. Okay, let me explain that, okay. So, let's go within and be cerebral and esoteric, because that's what this video is going to be. All right, to relieve stress from your body and for your mind when you're up to the plate at a recording studio, ready to go, ready to do a guitar solo, or you're on the stage in your band and it's your time to solo on the song, or you're a solo performer and you're singing, you're riffing, and now it's the guitar solo, what do you do? So there's a certain amount of vulnerability, a certain amount of fear, and a certain amount of anxiety that can come with guitar soloing. And that's a pretty natural brainstem reaction. And it's basically about acceptance. Will people like your solo? Will you be accepted? Will um, the solo be exciting? Will it be memorable? Will you do a good job? Are you gonna beat yourself up afterwards? Are you gonna rejoice? All those things probably go through your mind. Now, what eliminated a lot of stress from my mind and my body is when I realized one day that when I am creating music, and I'm laying something down to a track in a studio, or if I am on stage and you know the spotlight's gonna be on me because the guitar solo's coming up. How I relieved a lot of stress is I realized it's not about me, man. It's, it's like, this is all kind of ego-based stuff, which again, is really natural. So I'm not trying to go to a negative um, standpoint on this. It's basically, I realized that I'm only serving the higher entity, which is the song, which is a separate universe that you are a part of. It's not yours anymore. If you're, if you're, if you're creating something public, it's everybody. So it really helped my mind and my body life, my, my levels of um, <laughs> perspiration and the levels of shakiness is, um, Getting up to the plate and doing the guitar solo is really about how can I be a team player in this? So I actually envision the song as a separate person, as crazy as that sounds. Even if I created the song, it doesn't matter. It is now a public energy. And it's not about me anymore. I'm a part of something. And that just eliminated a lot of stress from my body and my mind. And then it's about serving the audience because they really want to support you. The audience is generally really open to seeing what your ideas are. They want you to do well. They want you to shred. They want you to gracefully shred. Whatever, whatever kind of solos you are. And so it's all about recognizing that fear is natural. It's part of the brainstem reaction to wanting to be accepted and wanting to be, do a good job. But it's also about um, the bigger picture, that music is a undefinable, expansive, ever-expanding entity, right? And you are a part of that. It's, again, once I realize it's, nothing is about me anymore. I'm just, I want to do a great job and I want to excel in my art. But I'm just part of this family, this music family. And um, that's what I think about every time I step up to the, in the recording studio for a solo. It's like, man, what is the song trying to say? What's the message of the song? What's the vibe, the mood of the song? The song is the being, I am the helper bee. The audience is the being, I am the helper bee. So I know there wasn't a lot of specifics to this video, but that's just little tidbits that I wanted to share with you. And um, Keep trying, keep chipping away at that fear and realize that's perfectly normal. But again, check out my other videos. I have some videos on creative guitar soloing um, that I think will be really, really helpful. So my name is Mike Michael. 
Um, how you can support me, simply check out my band, The Orange Goodness, online on the streaming services or, you know, in five years, whenever, you know, whatever the next invention will be your next platform. But, um, and um, I do have little tip jars and um, I, I'm just here to serve, man. I really care about your um, well-being and I care that your guitar solos um, are amazing and make people really excited about music, okay? Have a good week, take care, and you can always email me with any questions, okay? Peace.